are at the uh, Home Entertainment Manchester show and we're here with Paul Darwin from uh, Riga. We've got uh, a fantastic introduction of a brand new turntable and a few other bits and pieces of the amp and the, uh, the speaker which has been slightly changed. Perhaps you can give us a bit of an overview, starting off with the turntable maybe. And uh... Yeah, the turntable is the RP1 turntable which we've just introduced. Uh, very much a plug and play product, uh, entry level. It's £225, comes complete with an Autophon OM5 cartridge. Um, very pleased it's just won the award in what hi fi for best turntable under 300 quid. And this and is its outing, really, if you like. And that's quite an achievement as well because there's a lot of um, turntables out there. But this is quite a unique in the sense that it's a very, very stable platform, very low vibration comes through as well. So it's quite a unique performer with it. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the, a lot of work has gone into uh, the platter, for example, is uh, phenolic resin, which to you and I is Bakelite, of course. But, uh, <laughs> We can't use that to be in a trade name, but it's very, very inert, very stable. And the good thing about it is, because you can mould it, you can put a lot of weight on the outside edge, so it creates a flywheel effect. So it means that speed stability is a lot, lot better. Keeps the inertia without absolutely, struggling too absolutely. Much. The arm is a completely new arm as well, and it's very much a one-piece arm from the the counterweight at the back to the head shell. The head shell is is the only part that's not part of a complete one piece. But again, that just cuts down on any... Yeah. Um, and again, as you say, that's a good thing, in, especially at this uh, sort of area, because you know the performance of the one piece, and it works very well with the uh, cartridges you're using. Correct, correct. Excellent. And of course, you've got the Brio 3, which is uh, also well-established, but uh, still going very, very strong. Yeah, absolutely. It's our entry-level amplifier. What we wanted to do at this show was keep it very, very simple, because we were focusing on the turntable primarily. Um, we just thought we'd put a very, very simple, basic vinyl-based system together at a kind of real-world price. It works out at about 1,200 quid with a pair of RS3s. We could have used uh, the stand-mount RS1s, but with, when you're trying to drive a reasonable volume room, we just thought that the, uh, the, the floor standards would be better. And these have been just slightly changed on the feet, haven't they, just to make them a bit more stable? And, uh, yeah, yeah, but basically the, the, the feet that were on previously uh, certainly polarised opinion as to whether people like them or dislike them. And uh, we, we listened to what people said, and we've now... Um, change the feet design completely for something that I think is cosmetically a lot, uh, a lot preferable, and also we've changed the the grill on the side firing base unit slightly so it fits flush to the cabinet, whereas previously it stood just slightly proud. So I, I think now that they're uh, domestically acceptable, I think that's fantastic. Paul, excellent as always. Thank you very much. Thank indeed. you very much indeed, Tony. Cheers. Cheers.